if your iPad is stuck in a boot loop where you keep seeing the Apple logo appearing on the screen, then it goes dark, then it goes back to the Apple logo. Well, I'll show you how to get rid of this problem. Actually, there's many causes to this and I'll show you many different solutions. So let's get started with the easiest solution. So no matter if you see the Apple logo or not appearing on the screen, what you need to do, mine does not have the boot loop, it's just a demonstration here, is to force a restart. And how do you do this? It's very easy. You see on the side of your iPad Air here, you have a volume up, you have a volume down button, and you have a power button on the top. We need to press once on the volume up, once on the volume down and then right away press the power button and keep your finger there pressed until you see the Apple logo on the middle of the screen. Okay, so I'm keeping it pressed. Do not release it until you see, here we go, the Apple logo, then I can release. After that, your iPad will take about 10 to 12 seconds to fully restart and uh, yeah, I wish your problem is completely gone after doing this. If your problem still persists, let's go to the second solution. So the second solution, if you have a, the boot loop problem, is to actually try to get unstuck one of these buttons. Over time, there is lint, there's the breeze, there's dust that gets under that button. And uh, once the button is not making contact with the motherboard, this can cause many different problems, including a boot loop. So what I suggest you to do is to press very hard on each of these buttons at least 20 times. Okay, so really press hard on them. Okay, 20, even 50 times if you have the time. Okay, after doing this, go to the next one, volume up, same thing. Okay, We're trying to get anything that could be un, uh, stuck under that button, then do the volume down. And at the end, after doing this, do a force restart the same way I showed you previously. So volume up, volume down, and keep press the power button. Hopefully it will get your iPad unstuck from the situation it was in. Now, if this still didn't work and you're still having the problem, what I can suggest is to go on the back of your iPad, make sure your hands are clean, you do not have any rings, any jewelry here, and we'll give some really good taps on the back. Uh, why you would you do this? It's simply because inside of your iPad, there's a chance that something, a small ribbon, got unstuck, got uh, disconnected. Obviously, the best would be to open the iPad and have a better look, but many people don't know how to do this and many people don't want to do this. And this is a bit quicker. So give some good taps and we're just trying to reconnect if something got disconnected in the back. I suggest you do it all around the iPad by tapping quite hard on it and then go in the middle where the Apple logo is after doing the full circle. After, after smacking your iPad a few times, do a force restart the same way I showed you again previously. And hopefully after doing this, the thing that got disconnected got reconnected and you'll be able to use your iPad back again. Another thing I can suggest really quickly is to try using another charger, another cable and even another wall outlet to charge your iPad. Even if it's not made by Apple, try using a other cable and charger to charge your iPad, at least leave it two hours and then try do a force restart the way I showed you and hopefully everything will work after that. If you have another solution that I didn't talk in this video, please leave a comment down below or if one of these solutions work for you, I wanna know as well. Leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.